was 30 more, I'm a park ranger in the Phoenix Park and also responsible for the deer herd. We have a population of fallow, fallow deer in the park and at the moment, well we had 450 but we should be around 550 because this is the fawning season. And the fawning season is when the newborn uh, fawns are born in the month of June. And at the moment we're going around um, tagging the fawns with the students from UCD. Well the tag just is a long term study so we can study the behaviour of the uh, mostly of the males uh, during the breeding season and, well, and also the females because uh, we were particularly interested in why some males are, are more uh, successful than others during the breeding season because some males might, may get uh, mate with up to about 70 does in, in, the, in the autumn, in the rut whereas, and most males would, they, would get none at all. Fawns are born in the, in the long grass. If people come up to them uh, shortly after they're born, the, the female will probably uh, abandon the fawn. Because and people are inclined to lift up fawns, to think, thinking they're lost, and uh, the, the female will reject the fawn if it has uh, human scent on it. Fallow deer we have in the park. There's four different colour variations. There's black, brown, common, and menal. The common, ver common and menal variations are the ones with the dappled spots. Uh, the mental variation would be the one that's a bit brighter, brighter dappled spots and the common or have the spots but a black tail so it reaches going from the, spot, the top of the back all the way down to the rump. You can see like a cardio disc or a love heart there on the rump patch. Um, the antlers are developing at the moment, they're in velvet and that's when, because the antlers fall off every year around April and they're fully grown by the end of August. They fight with their antlers during the breeding season. But uh, during the summer, when they're in velvet, they'll fight with their front legs. They'll box each other with their front legs. And the females will box with their front legs if they have an argument. We would have a lot of, because they're parked there, they're quite tame. And a lot of people come in and, you know, to feed them. And we don't recommend it because, um, you know, if two books were competing, you know, went for the same piece of field, someone's handing it to them, you know, there could be an accident, a potential accident. So we try and discourage people from feeding. It's, it's very hard because I think everyone's bringing in carrots now and apples and whatever else. Mm -hmm.